Pixie is here and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm gonna talk about this Lamy Safari pen and my thoughts and opinions and I will draw a little bit so grab yourself a drink. <sighs> Any drink is fine. Um, tea, coffee, hot chocolate. I am also doing mini unboxing video and next week I am having second part of this video which will be with fountain pen inks and uh, just like drawing in general. So I hope you enjoy. I decided to pre-record some of material because I will be in my home country for two or three weeks and also like this video is filmed with time different so I did unboxing of Lamy Safari two weeks from this moment and then I received another parcel which was one week after that week so they're like different time frames in one video so I hope it's not getting too chaotic. <laughs> Let's enjoy this video together. So this is the Lamy I got from my recent unboxing video. Got it from Cold Pens. And it comes with this uh, blue ink, but I didn't want it, so that's why I bought this special converter. And as I understand, there are like these small mini dots up here, and they go straight into here. But there are different converters, of course. This is like for Lamy. So here's the little dot, and I just moved it inside. I also want can show so I bought fine nib from Lamy but you can get different sizes I just thought this could be my size and as I understand I need to put it inside and then I need to move this one like uh, that and soak the ink and then slowly move out okay uh, I'm ready <laughs> I'm scared so I have like paper tower with me like toilet paper basically <laughs> because maybe it, it will be messy um sorry if you cannot see what i'm doing but i'm basically soaking it in okay um there are still like some bubbles so i'm gonna take it out and fill it again <laughs> and i'm gonna try it out here's the paper Wow, it's so strange to use it. I like it kind of. I like this color. It's dark, but it's neutral. It's I didn't want to have like black ink, at least in the beginning. I have like these small drawings, like line drawings, and I just thought they would look really great with this uh, fountain pen. So I'm gonna recreate some of these sketches now. It's really hard to like compare with something because I like I never used it before as I told, and uh, it's something super new to me. So I'm not sure how I feel about it, you know. Um, I have nothing to compare because usually like when I review pencils or markers or anything like that I at least have example because I, I have tried that material before but now I I haven't so this is like something super interesting I really like the feeling how you put it on page <laughs> is it like is it bleeding through that is another question for me. Or maybe it's like depends on paper. Yeah, it's not bleeding through this paper, but maybe it, it will for other ones. And I'm gonna draw <laughs> one of the Inktober pieces.
me, I really like line drawings. I usually sketch a um, bit line and then I'm like doing illustration with colors. So this is like, I feel really great to use it like a, in a sketch stage instead of mechanical pencil, because I actually use mechanical pencil a lot um, because I love the lines I'm using. This is actually maybe a little bit thicker. I'm usually sketching with this thickness of pencil and sometimes when I really need to go bold, I'm going with this one, which is super bold, but this is like this is like a little bit thicker, I guess, than these lines. Wait, I need to press it. This is thick. Can I go thinner? Yeah, if I don't press that hard, I can go a little bit thinner. Yeah, maybe I need extra fine. <laughs> uh, maybe I need another nib. We'll I don't know, but I like this one. It's, it's I think good for beginning because I, like I didn't have had any idea if I will like it or not. So I think it's better to buy a little bit less and then see if I like it. And then only then think about something more, you know, so I think it's good uh, size and for beginnings. We'll write a little bit as well. <laughs> Okay, I think I will I will return after like some time. I want to give like review of all the like review after some time because I want to see how much I will use it, 
where I will use it, do I like it or not, and how I feel about it. So yeah, for you it will be a few seconds for me. I will literally spend some time without camera and experimenting and then come back and see how it will work out. But this is it for now. <laughs> I think now I want to check other rings. There is <laughs> some there are so many inks on Cold Pen's website. And I like I as I said I was literally checking all the brands and it was so hard to like know which one to buy and I watched I think like 20 videos about it and everyone was like recommending different things so that didn't help so then I started looking about colors and yeah this was like one of the colors I wanted to get there was also another one which is called Salix and it's a uh, with iron oxide and it changes color a little bit so but i was like scared because i thought maybe it will damage pen but then later on i read that it it won't so maybe i will buy like that gray blue color next time uh and maybe like different nib i don't know hey um welcome to this mini clip inside another video um, a week ago I got this pen, Lamy fountain pen, with this sepia ink by Rochnen and Klinger. And to be honest, like, I really enjoy writing with this pen. I have been writing a lot. And I also did, like, some doodling and sketching and I, I don't know, <laughs> I kind of had another spontaneous purchase on cold pens. And... I want to unbox the package, another package. I actually don't go towards like spontaneous purchases and I really think through what I need to and want to buy, uh, especially regarding to art supplies. But I was just so amazed with fountain pens and I decided to buy a little bit more. And uh, so I never actually had two online art supply purchases in the same week. So this is like, I got these two a week ago and now I'm already receiving the next parcel. <laughs> but yeah, you will see what I got. I have like another mini candies. <laughs> and um, I got this, um, the same brand ink, uh, just in different color. And this is actually, so this name is Salix and it's Iron Gall Nut Ink. And I was really skeptical. I actually wanted to buy it first time uh, before this one. But I was really skeptical because this is like Iron Gall. And as I understand, it's a um, little bit acidic. And I thought it will ruin the pens, but it's actually the formula is quite different than it was like a few centuries ago. Uh, for iron gall inks, but with this one, when I'm writing, it slowly darkens up, so it changes color a little bit, and I found it like this could be really enjoyable ink to work with. So now I have another one. I bought a uh, Kaweco fountain pen this time. So now I have two fountain pens. I can compare them together. So this is Lamy Safari and this is Kaweco. I think it's Pepeo, I think the name. Perkeo, Perkeo. And the color is breezy teal. And I just, I also fell in love with the color. I'm like, <laughs> like when there's like pretty name and beautiful color, I'm just like falling over like this, like perfect. So I'm gonna open it right now. The only thing I don't like, it's plasticky. A lot of plastic going on here because I will not pos possibly use this box. There are four cartridges inside and this is the pen. I'm gonna slowly take it up. I'm gonna check the nibs. Yeah, the size is like almost exactly the same. I can see in the grip there are three parts, whereas in Lamy there are only two. So they have four cartridges inside 
and I bought converter because I wanted to have uh, my own personal link. It's quite light, but there isn't ink inside, so that can change. Let's see what else we got. I went like on a little ink rampage, so. Um, oh, I needed to to get this uh, unbleached titanium um, acrylic marker because I ran out of the ink color um, I have, so I needed to buy the new one. I got ink cartridges for free, so I just get them. And then there is like this mini converter, which is for Kaweco pens. And there is also inks, more inks I got. I'm gonna re review all the packaging, by the way. As I told you, I'm like really bad with um, buying <laughs> like pretty colors but this time I felt like for fountain pens I don't know why they have such a beautiful names for inks as well as colors itself so I bought uh, four diamine inks and I'm gonna slowly show them to you this is L gray and I actually read a, a lot of recommendations of this L gray um, color. It was like a lot of people love this kind of shade of gray and as I like gray color like in general I felt this could be like lovely addition to my fountain pen in collection. Then we have Prussian blue and like I always associate Prussian blue with like this deep deep dark blue color but this is like more grayish blue so I, I think this will be really cool color too. Okay, then we have Rav Sienna and this is like kind of ochre color and yeah, I just needed to get this one. And then we have Autumn Oak and <laughs> this is such a pretty name, but uh, I really like the color as well and it just, this is like the perfect essence of Autumn, so I would love to write it with it got free cartridge because I bought this Caveco pen and there were several color options so I just chose uh, smoky gray and I'm gonna compare it with the L gray and how it looks together but here are six cartridges and I'm gonna actually maybe extract them and put them in small bottle we'll see yeah we have these four cartridges um, for fountain pen, this is like this fountain pen, and then it's this color. So this is like my mini order. Well, not mini, like little bit bigger order. I'm gonna give like mini information about like which inks, I, like which color I will ink it up with this pen. <laughs> There's big choice. So I'm actually also running out of this color, so I will probably put different color inside of this pen and put some color inside of this one. Uh, like actually why I wanted to have two fountain pens is uh, because I want to have one for drawing and one for writing because I actually really enjoy writing with them as well. So I'm gonna probably have like a gray color as sketching color and any of other color would be good for writing. Okay, so this process of cleaning the Lamy Safari is so easy. So basically what we are going to do, I'm gonna take this one up so you can see what I'm doing. I am soaking it in and grabbing water. As you can see, it's quite dirty up there. So I'm gonna fill the excess ink here. And I'm gonna do it for a couple of times until like it's completely white water, <laughs> transparent water. I made uh, clean the water in between once again.
Okay, so I completely changed the water now and this is almost clean, but I want to do it one more time inside the clean water. There are like several videos which I watched about cleaning Lamy Safari Pen. I think this is the quickest one. You can also let it soak in the water and you can also take this one out. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. It will help to support my channel. Comment down below what you think about this week's video. And also, um, if you have any video suggestions what I could film in my home country, please write them down below. I am possibly, when you are watching this video, I am already in Latvia and uh, I have some plans to make like vlogs about Latvia and maybe show some art supply stores if the stores will be open. I'm not sure what is the situation at that moment because everything is changing in the COVID times. But yeah, I will probably also share some of my artworks I did some long, long time ago. So maybe like artwork tour. Okay, um, have a good day, evening, morning, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs> for the week, for the part two. Two, number two. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Here are some snippets from next week's video.